This is my personal SIM rig that I use almost every single day. And I only paid 400 bucks for the chassis. It's called the 6S Slim from Six Sigma Sim Racing. So let's get into it. Before I get into the review, I wanna say that I'm not sponsored by Six Sigma Sim Racing and I spent my own money on this. Also, this is more of a raw style review where I don't have any fancy music editing, lighting, etc. A benefit of a aluminum profile rig is the adjustability. So this bar right here can be moved up and down. These two bars right there can move forward and back. The pedal plate itself can move up and down with these provided adjusting plates. The seat can move side to side, forward and back, same with the shifter mount. So everything is adjustable. They also provided multiple mounting holes on the wheelbase. You can't see it right here, but I'll put it on screen where you where it supports multiple wheelbases. Same with the shifter mount. The shifter mount has multiple holes if you have multiple shifters, like a sequential and an H pattern, or different kind of handbrakes. You might be asking, how difficult was it to make this rig or put it together? Well, it was fairly easy because of their instruction manual, which is straightforward, as well as their bags that are labeled and come with extra hardware. It came with... I just dropped one. It just came with all this hardware and yeah, I have a bunch of extras. As you can see, there's zero flex with the sim rig when the wheelbase is at 12 new meters worth of force. The website says that the sim rig can only handle 10, but as you can see, with 12, it's doing just fine. Most of the time spent in the sim rig is drifting and it does a job. So now let's talk about the cons. For my pedals, I did have to drill into the pedal plate because of the lack of holes and adjustment, which is a place of improvement for Six Sigma Sim Racing. To save some money, you will have to buy your own seat and seat rail, which can be bought online or used on Facebook Marketplace. This seat is the old seat from my car and the seat rail is from Amazon, it's 30 bucks. The biggest thing that people talk about when it comes to Six Sigma Sim Racing is the shipping time. If, it's, if you're pre-ordering this Sim Rig, it's gonna take two to three months, maybe four months, for it to ship to your door, but they're usually accurate with their shipping estimates and they reply really quick via email. So the question is, should you buy the sim rig? So let's compare the prices with the sim rigs from GT Omega, Next Level Racing and Extreme um, Sim Racing, I think that's what it's called. Those rigs are a lot more for, for what? For the same basic shape of the aluminum profile sim rigs. They all work the same. So why not save a few hundred dollars with the 6S Slim? You know what I'm saying? So if you like videos like this, comment below. And if you want to see more sim equipment reviews, let me know.